Hello everybody, so I'll try to be quick, but I want you to see that the anointing that the devil claims that you're lacking, that um, isn't on your life, is just a complete lie. And so we're going to start off in 1 John, verse 20, and it says, But you have been anointed by the Holy One. So are you, ma are you missing this anointing? No, it says you've been anointed by the Holy One. Right? So it's you already have the anointing. And you all and you all have knowledge. Right? Verse 27. But the anointing that you have received from him abides in you, and you have no need that anyone should teach you, but as his anointing teaches you about everything and is true. And is no lie, just as it has taught you, abide in him. Very interesting. So we need to go to Acts chapter 10. Acts chapter 10, verse 38. And even if we go back to uh, one of the teachings we did earlier tonight um, and look at look over 1 Corinthians chapter 2. It exposes so much because it says the Spirit of God knows the deep things of God and He reveals them to you. We can go into John chapter 16 and how the Spirit of God teaches you everything. Right? So here we see what John's talking about. Um, we can see everything that, that comes with this. And so let's look at verse 38. And how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power... And healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. So the devil is oppressing people with sickness, right? So all oppression is of the devil. So God is, went about doing good and healing all. Definite word, absolute word. Healing all oppressed by the devil, for, for God was with him. Now, first sentence. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit. Now, do you have a spirit? If you have a spirit, you have the same anointing as Jesus Christ. He's given you his spirit. God has given you his spirit. That's why I encourage you go back and read 1 Corinthians chapter 2. It brings up and blows up this whole thing. You are anointed with the anointing of, of Jesus Christ. You have the same anointing. Anointing just means to smear. Right, and it's the uh, the biblical illusion of the Old Testament when they would smear oil, which was a representation of the Holy Spirit. So now you actually have the Holy Spirit coming in you, right? And you, so he, he anointed Jesus with the Holy Spirit and with power, dunamis. So if we actually go to First uh, Acts one, Acts one eight, you can see this. It says, but you shall, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you will become, you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. So we can see here that power comes as a result of the Holy Spirit because it all comes from the very nature of God. That God is light and in him dwells no darkness and light has natural dominion and authority over darkness so where there's light, there's the absence of darkness, right? So you can see how all this works. So light naturally overcomes darkness. So you can say the light has power over darkness, right? So we sometimes fail to realize that we have the exact same anointing because we're anointed with the exact same person, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit of God, the Spirit of God, and from Him flows everything so you have to understand and realize the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead the same spirit that's been at every healing at every miracle at every dead raising at every miracle is abiding and living in you and you are his temple he doesn't come and go as he did in times past he comes and he abides in you so you're not missing the anointing he is the one you're anointed with. Forget about the smearing. Think about the habitation you become as being a temple of him. 
and that he lives and abides in you. It's that simple. Don't make it more complicated than what it is. So bless you. Hope this has helped you. Have a great evening.